Module 4, Pair and Group Work. The focus in this module is on pair and group work. Pair and group work incorporates principles and themes from the cooperative learning and collaborative learning theoretical frameworks. We will look at some real classroom examples using Stella Ting Toomey's Describe, Interpret, Evaluate process to analyze what is happening with pair and group work in these classes. Module Focus Introduction, Rationale Some reasons for using pair and group work are to accommodate individual differences and learning styles, to provide opportunities for different types of cognitive involvement, to allow for unexpected learning, and to motivate learners and increase time on task by using a variety of engaging and interesting activities. Number one, viewing points, pairs and groups, example A. Video segment number one. Observe the following class. Look for answers to the questions, how is the class organized? How are the pairs and or groups organized? What kinds of interactions occur between the groups and teacher and within the groups themselves? We're going to have a little game today, a contest, two teams, and the winning team will get five extra activity points. Okay? So there's a prize. The winning team gets five extra points in your activity log. All right? What the contest will be is I have 10 true and false questions about the movie, the part of the movie that we saw yesterday, okay? So in other words, you need to remember and understand very well what happened yesterday. Move your chairs and just make four groups. Let's keep a little bit of room between the four groups, okay? This football game is just high school. But no, you say it's just high school, so you don't have to so strict, but we don't say it's very serious about training. That's right. That's right. He really pushes them. So you can write here just anything that you've learned about the characters. You could write about their families. You could write about their personality. So let's make two teams. Let's just do one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. We're going to need a line on either side of the desk. So one line here. The twos, all the twos, get in line here. The ones, let's get this desk out of the way, okay? The ones in line here to get up to the board. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read, I'm going to read a sentence. You need to decide if it's true or false. You need to run up to the board and write T or F on the board. So if it's true, you write T. If it's false, you write F, OK? Kind of equal distance. You don't have to write it right here. You can write it right here. Just get to the board and write T or F. The team gets one point if you're right. The team that writes first, if it's correct, you get an extra point. OK? So you can get one point for being correct and another point for getting to the board first. OK? Other teammates, you can't help. Coach Boone calls the shots. OK, zero points, sorry, and one point for team one. Coach Boone calls the shots. He's in charge. He's the boss. Remember, this was on our list of vocabulary. Calls the shots. He's in charge. Oh, two's catching up. Two's catching up. Julius and Gary are roommates at camp. OK, I think you were first. No? No, am I wrong? Who was first? Who was first, Leslie? 
Was it a tie? OK, so both get two points. <laughs> Who won? Team one. Yay. <laughs> Team one. Summary. In this class, we saw examples of forming pairs and groups in different ways, students working together toward common instructional goals, students actively using English to complete the tasks, and having fun while they were doing it. What else did you and your group observe? Number two, viewing points, pairs and groups, example B. Video segment number two. Observe the following class. Look for answers to the questions, what is the role of the teacher? The students. What kind of group management techniques do you see? What is the purpose of using group work in this case? Each of you is going to write. I like how Alex is paying attention. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Yalitza. Okay, your team is going to write a sentence about sockeye salmon. And we're waiting for Araceli and Jose Luis to be listening. Okay, I will give the paper to the person at the table who is going to write it. But that doesn't mean they're the only person who's going to make up the ideas. They just have to write it down. Okay. And then in about five minutes, we're going to come together and look at our paragraph, our sentences together. So, let's see. Jorge, your group is going to write about what animal, you're going to write a sentence to let the readers know what animal we're writing about, OK? Gabriela, your table group is going to tell what class the sockeye salmon belongs to, what class of animals. And Araceli, your table group is going to write about why sockeye salmon are important to the forest. And here, Yalitza, your table group will write an interesting fact. Oh, erosions caused by the mine. Yeah, I don't like that. Because big wood. It has to be a big wood. Boys and girls, when you hear the signal word, I need you to come and sit right up here. We need to make kind of a little circle. Ready? Oh, I didn't say the signal word yet. <laughs> That's OK. Interdependence. So today, when we're editing our paragraph, we're going to check for capitals and periods. Are they where they need to be? But we're also going to edit to see if it sounds right. OK? Make sure it sounds right. So our first sentence says, this is our topic sentence. And I indent it a little bit, just like in Spanish when we put a sanguion, OK? When you start a, a paragraph, you put an indentation. 
It says, we are learning about sockeye salmon. Does that sound right? No. Yes. 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 It, yes. It, is, it is right. Now, are, do we have capital where we need a capital? Yes. yes. And a period where we need a period? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Let's move on to the next one. The sockeye salmon lives in the rivers. Yes. Gabriela? Um, sockeye salmon live in the rivers. Okay, the sockeye salmon live in the rivers. Okay, because it's more than one salmon. Okay, so let's read together. Ready? We are learning about sockeye salmon and Salmon are very important to us. Good job, you guys. Summary. In this class, we saw examples of the teacher leading the class sometimes, and then at other times, stepping back to let students manage themselves. The teacher checking in with groups and offering guidance or redirection as needed. Different groups coming up with a range of correct answers or contributions. And we saw both some expected or predictable learning outcomes, along with some surprises from the groups. What else did you and your group observe? Module focus, summary. The focus in module four has been on pair and group work. Having completed some critical analysis of other teachers' classes, you can now begin to make decisions about which of these features you can transfer to your own classroom. As with other techniques and practices in this video series, you can think about starting with small experimental changes over time rather than making lots of big changes all at once. See the manual for readings and more information on this and other topics related to pair and group work.